Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Today we're gonna get Comfy UI running even faster than you already did in my last video. So there's a new version of Sage Attention that just came out and I'm gonna show you how to install it into your environment so that you can start generating videos and images at lightning speed. So even if you have Sage Attention already installed, this just came out early July. So this is worth going through figuring out how to do the new install so that you can see the performance gains. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your Comfy UI environment that I showed you how to install and right click and open in terminal. Okay, so this will open your Comfy UI environment. First thing we need to do is activate our virtual environment. So I have mine named VENV. To activate the environment on Windows, I'm new VENV slash scripts slash activate.ps1. Okay, and then when this green VNV comes up, that's how you know it's working. Okay, so next thing you need to do is check out what versions of Torch you have installed. So I'll leave this here for a second. These are the versions of Torch you're gonna want. I will put the actual versions I'm using in the description, but in order to install them, you need to specifically call them in our when you're doing your pip install. So I will uninstall my versions of Torch real quick. Okay, so we successfully uninstalled everything. And then in order to install the version of Torch we want, we need to run pip install torch equal equals, and then we grab the version of Torch from the description. So this is the version of Torch that I want. We paste that in. And then if you just type Torch Vision and Torch Audio, it'll match those versions up. The last thing we need to do is make sure that it's running for the correct version of CUDA. So we want to use this command dash dash index URL. And then I'm using CUDA 12.8. So that's what I'm going to install with. And now if we hit enter, it should install the torch requirements that we need. So I made a, mis a small mistake here, you need to use the nightly index URL so that you can find the correct version of torch. Okay, and so it found it now. I will just put this whole command into the description so that you guys don't have to go searching or try to type it out while you're following along with the video. I'll just put the whole command in the description and that should make it easy for you. All right, so that is now installed. There's a couple conflicts in here that those are just comfy UI packet, node package conflicts that don't affect me right now, so I haven't resolved it. But now we are ready to install Sage Attention. So the reason that we had to install that specific version of Torch is because it only works with Torch 2.8 right now. Um, there's no to Torch 2.9 version of Sage Attention 2.2 or Sage Attention++ plus plus yet. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is download the correct wheel for our environment. So go navigate to the walk or do Sage Attention link in the description below. You'll get to this GitHub page and then you want to go to the C releases for the wheels. Okay. And then so since we installed Torch 2.8, we can go ahead and use the Torch 2.8 version. There's also Torch 2.7.1. So if you want to use the stable release, you can, but the nightly releases are typically faster, so that's typically what I use. All right, and then check which version of Python you're on. So if you just type Python, it'll show you we're on Python 3.12. So I want Torch 2.8, Python 3.12. And so this is the correct one for me. If you're using a different version of Python, just select the correct one. All right, so that's downloading for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the Sage Attention wheel that downloaded and just drag it into my comfy UI environment. I want it to be on the same path. I want it to be on the same path as my, where my PowerShell is. Um, and if you got stuck in Python, just type quit, parentheses, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and you'll get out of the Python command line. So all we need to do now to install Sage Attention is pip install Sage Attention dash two. 
point two. So if you just start typing Sage Attention and hit tab, it'll autofill the rest. And then we can just hit enter. Oh, and sorry, I had a, I had one downloaded before, so it the wheels get built in very specific formats. So I have to delete this uh, parentheses one that it just created because I had downloaded the wheel before. All right, and so we are now installed. So now let's test it in Comfy UI. Okay, so I just need to start Comfy UI with Python main.py. So now that we have Sage 2.2 installed, let's just check that it's working. So head to open up Comfy UI, go to workflows and browse templates, and then go to Flux and just select the basic Flux dev full text to image. You can, if you already have a Flux workflow that you like, you can just follow along here and do the exact same thing that I do. So for this, you're going to need KJ nodes installed and I'll link the path to KJ nodes in the description, but you should be able to install it either through the manager or you can install it directly through GitHub. Okay. So after you get the Flux model up and you have KJ nodes installed, we're going to use the flux one dev model, the corresponding clips and the corresponding VAE. And then all you need to do is select this patch sage attention node and turn it to auto and then attach this to the model K sampler. All right. And then we'll just run the default prompt. And you can see this is the first run. So that's a flux image generated in 8.6 seconds. There are ways to improve it even more. You can add in wave speed, you could add in um, Tcache, you could add in torch compile, and those should improve your speed even more. But this is the fastest Sage Attention out right now. So I hope this helps you out. If it helped you out, please hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, it helps the channel, it helps me create more content. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.